here let us learn how to represent numbers with roots on a number line which are also called as irrational numbers so we need to know one small part of geometry here which is called as the pythagoras theorem the pythagoras theorem states that in a right angle triangle let's name it a b c the line opposite to the right angle is the hypotenuse it says that hypotenuse the whole square is equal to the sum of the square of the other two sides that is the other two sides are ab and ac so it is equal to the sum of the squares of ab and ac or ca so you just need to note this now let us go back to the problem representing numbers with roots on a number line let us take an example say we'll have to represent root 2 on a number line so all we have to do is draw a number line the center point is 0 which is here let us mark 1 here this is minus 1 and this is plus 1 we, we won't be needing the minus 1 part now let's take this this much is 1 so with the same distance let us construct another straight line which is at a right angle to the point 1 so this distance also should be 1 so let us join these two points now now this is a right angle triangle now let us find what is the distance between let us name this 0 or o a b so let us find o a now let us also consider this as o so o a is nothing but from the pythagoras theorem we have o a square is equal to o b square plus a b square which is simply o a square is equal to 1 square plus 1 square which is 2 and o a square is 2 so o a is a root of 2 so this distance is root 2 now let us slightly extend the number line what we are going to do now is let us take o a as a radius that is of length root 2 and construct a circle such that the circle meets the number line so it will be something like this now this point let us name it c so o c is also the radius of the circle if o a is the radius of the circle o c is also radius of the circle so length of the radius of the circle o a is root 2 therefore o c is also root 2 root 2 lies at this point so this is how we represent a number with root on a number line so let us now see how to represent root 5 on a number line before we go into the number line let us work out the mathematics we need two numbers such that the square of them is 5 only then can we get root 5 so it happens to be 2 square plus 1 square so let us draw a number line now the center o and 1 2 3 4 5 is minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 and goes on so let us consider this as o and the point here as a so we've got one side which is 2 that is o a so this is o a square so there has to be a point here b and that has to be 1 so this is a b square so this will definitely be root 5 should be o b only so now let us join these points here so we have a b as 1 this is 2 so therefore o b will be o b square is equal to o a square plus a b square which is nothing but o a is 2 2 square plus a b is 1 1 square 2 square plus 1 square is 5 so o b square is equal to 5 ob is equal to root 5 so ob is root 5 so all we need to do to locate root 5 on the number line is to consider ob as the radius of a circle and draw a circle such that it touches the number line so here is a circle so then let us name this point as c and oc here it is oc is also the radius of the circle and it has to be root 5 so therefore this point here 
represents root 5 on the number line. So this is how we represent numbers with roots or irrational numbers on the number line.